Good morning, YouTube. How's everybody? It's Didi Blast, SoundCloud, the Black Madonna. I said that I return on Saturday. So here I am. I'm doing a black video at the moment. Um, I have some news here. Uh, some news that I want to get out uh, before too much time has passed. All right, so we're going to start with a, a couple of short stories, and then we'll get into um, uh, the longer stories, okay? So I just wanted to get the um, the short stories out uh, to you guys a little, uh, you know, kind of fast and out the way. All right, now, uh, this is very short, but it says, um, a Louisiana girl of uh, 15 uh, may have uh, 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 run away uh, with the, uh, a 47-year-old man, uh, which is a family friend, um, as the FBI uh, uh, joins the search. Uh, so uh, the issue is, is that he's 47 years old. The girl is only 15 years old. He's a family friend. And so now the FBI is involved. Now, if you were a family friend and she ran off with you, were you having sex with her uh, uh, before you guys ran off? Because that's statutory rape right there. Okay, all right, that's a quick story, so we'll get it out the way. If I get any more information, hopefully the FBI uh, can locate uh, the man. Uh, how dare he uh, run off uh, with uh, someone's daughter, and she's only 15 years old. I don't agree with that at all. That's a minor. Okay, all right, now here's another one. All right, uh, man guilty uh, in slaying uh, sex assault of New York uh, City jogger uh, whose father uh, found her in the weeds. Okay, uh, Chanel Lewis uh, was, was convicted uh, after being tried a second time for the 2016 killing of uh, Karina uh, Vetrano. Okay, so we'll find out uh, what happened in the second trial. Uh, what was the outcome? Was he convicted? Uh, you know, what did he get if he was evicted? So I'll make sure I try to uh, do an update on this one, okay? I've done a few updates, guys. I don't know if you've uh, recognized it, but I have. I have done uh, uh, quite a few uh, updates. All right, now here we go. We're going to keep going. Uh, this one is a little short, too. All right, now, um, there's a son... Okay, a son uh, uh, speaks out on deadly Hartford crash uh, with a stolen car. Okay, the son of a Hartford man uh, who died uh, after uh, his SUV was struck uh, by a stolen car with teens in it uh, was joined... Uh, uh, joined the chorus of people uh, calling uh, for a stiffer punishment uh, for young people uh, who drive stolen cars. Yeah, I agree with that because when you, you stole the car, so you're going to drive fast and you're going to go by lights, you're going to break the law and then run into someone and then kill them. They should get time for that. They really should. Uh, they shouldn't get probation because, first of all, you stole the car. That's wrong. Second of all, you speaking and going and running through lights, and there's people that's driving that's trying to get home safe. And then you're asked, you know, to stole a car, so now you want to drive the car crazy. So y'all make yourselves get arrested. You couldn't even steal the car and be incognito with the car. You driving fast, you running red lights, now you done killed somebody. Jail time. He need a few years in prison to think about that, okay? All right, thank you. And right, now listen. All right, now there's a New York a couple that uh, goes missing on vacation in the Dominican Republic. Something strange that has happened. Okay, a family, uh, family and friends, I say, uh, both of their uh, phones are off. Okay, now uh, Orlando Moore, he's forty-three years old, and Portia uh, uh, Revenel, uh, she's thirty-two, are uh, off uh, for vacation uh, to the tropical islands on, on March twenty-third. Reports uh, New York's uh, PIX eleven. According to the ABC New York, uh, they failed to return uh, uh, from vacation on March twenty-seventh. They never return home. So I, I think something is going on with this. Something foul happened. Uh, so I wanted to report it. But I'm going to hold tight with this story here because I believe it's going to be uh, some more information about this story. Uh, I believe there's going to be a big investigation on what happened uh, to these uh, two people uh, from New York that just wanted to travel, have vacation in the tropical islands, you know. All right, so, okay, uh, so uh, I'll let you know uh, what happened with this one. I'm definitely going to hold on to this one, all right? Okay, uh, now here's another. Okay, now, uh, Timothy Pitsons, uh, devastated uh, that uh, uh, dad speaks out after missing child hoax. Uh, my son is still out there. Okay, Jim Pitson isn't giving up his uh, dream of a reunion um, with his son who disappeared at age six in 2011. Uh, uh, Dad, uh, Jim Pitson, uh, had been down uh, this road before. He knew that he had to keep his uh, perspective. Uh, after a heavy... After um, uh, uh, heaving from a detective last Wednesday uh, that someone claiming to be his son, Timothy, who vanished at the age of six in 2011, uh, um, they thought that he had been found. Okay, now great days are ahead uh, for the boy, now 14, uh, enrolling in school, uh, learning um, how to shave and 
driver less driving lessons. Uh, dad, uh, dad said, I've got to get him stable and back to trusting people, you know, um, uh, the, the, the people's report. Okay, uh, so now, um, uh, DNA uh, test revealed the young man to be an imposter. It's not his son, y'all. Uh, who claimed to be uh, the, the the kid that was kidnapped at the age of six in 2001. So he is not a kidnap, kidnapping victim. And uh, uh, he used uh, Timothy's name only after hearing about it, uh, you know, the boy's case on ABC uh, uh, 2020. All right, so he watched the uh, ABC 2020 show uh, about uh, Timothy Pitson's, uh, you know, um, very sad to make pretend. You know, that's very touchy. You know what I mean? He should get some jail time for pretending to be this man's son. He was lying, and they took the DNA test, and it's not his son. So, um, hopefully his father, um, you know, can get blessed with seeing his son again, his real son. So, he's going to have to be careful now on who decides to say that they're the son. Give him all DNA tests so there's no more disappointment. Uh, so I'm sorry about that, sir. I, I hope you find your son. All right, now here we go. This is by jo uh, Joel Goldstein. Okay, now uh, Magic Johnson is stepping down as president of the Lakers operation has come to an end. The NBA legend made an unexpected announcement driving a press uh, uh, doing a press conference on Tuesday ahead of the uh, 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 final uh, home game of the season against the Portland Trail Blazers. Okay, uh, Johnson says uh, uh, today uh, I will step down as president. Uh, he wants a normal life, um, uh, have fun, enjoy life. However, uh, 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 Magic enjoys life. Uh, while Magic is enjoying his life, Avant will be losing his life. Uh, first to, uh, 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 Avant was the first uh, to sign to Magic Johnson's uh, record label. Uh, so Levant, right now, in my opinion, is being sacrificed by Magic Johnson. Yes, it's true. Okay? Now, what I want to say is, is that all right, we already know uh, that Big's character... Uh, on Bad Boy, uh, that he was uh, Diddy's first artist that had him make money um, off of his record label, so he sacrificed big, okay? Same thing here. Magic Johnson, I didn't even know he had a record label, but he has a record label. Avant was the first one to sign to his record label, and if you see Avant, he's sick. He went out of the country, over there in some of them, one of them foreign-ass places, and whatever, he was sacrificed, so... They say he has six months to live. He, to way, the way he looks to me in the video that I saw, he looked like he got a, a tomorrow. He's going to die. So that's very sad. You know, uh, Avon has brought us some good music. He still has a chance to give us more good music. Why sacrifice him? But I guess you do for a sacrifice. That's their world, y'all. Don't put their world up against our world, all right? I'm just reporting the news, okay? All right, now, here we go. Now, a man sentenced to 26 years to life for killing a reality star uh, with, the, with the hammer, uh, 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 burying the body uh, in the backyard. Uh, Roger used a hammer to uh, strike 36-year-old Lisa Marie uh, Nagel. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, now, a former star of the reality show, uh, Bridal... Uh, pr uh, br bridal <laughs> Anyway, it was a bridal show. Okay, now eight times that uh, she was hit uh, with the hammer. Uh, an uh, affair between she and her killer. There was an affair between her and her killer. Okay, Los Angeles uh, uh, County uh, District Attorney's Office. Uh, he buried her body in the backyard, and he struck uh, twice before uh, he he struck her twice uh, before he buried her, just to make sure he he struck her two more times. He's already dead. He's burying her. Before he put the dirt on her, he struck her two more times just to be extremely sure uh, that she's dead. All right? All right, so, okay, so uh, that's uh, very sad, very sick. Uh, you know, I'm not sure, you know, why he did that. All right, okay, so now I have these stories in. Um, I have another video uh, that I'm going to upload uh, tonight. Okay, um, if it's not tonight, for sure, definitely tomorrow. But I hope you guys get a chance to enjoy this news. It's very good news. Uh, all of the news that you see, you may not like the title, but go in there because it's, it's good news in there. Maybe I put the wrong title in and it wasn't exciting to you guys, but uh, check the videos out. Uh, ha uh, has anyone uh, uh, decided to uh, uh, stay off the bandwagon of hate and uh, subscribe to DD Blast and hit the like button? You know, do that, y'all. Let's keep my page up. You know, it's positive. Uh, I know news can be a little boring sometimes, but if you just sitting, you chilling, having a glass of tea, or you drinking a little beer or something like that, you ain't doing nothing. Just listen to my videos. It's extremely good news, you know. News from all over around the world, you know. And I go through these sites and I research this news, you know, for y'all. 
Yes, so that I can keep you guys informed. You know, I want to help my people and keep my people informed. And then I want to help other people where whoever else needs help, you know, with the chats. And, you know, um, they're not planned. They're just chats. They're my breezes, you know. Whatever's on my mind, I just breeze, you know. So, uh, you know, uh, pay attention uh, uh, to, the, to the videos. Uh, they're very good. Uh, the ceilings, the black videos, all of them. Every You know, it's very good. You might not like the title, but inside of that uh, video, it's, it's extremely good news you know so uh, I'm gonna try to be a little more creative possibly with the titles you know okay or anyway thank you for listening to the news okay and I'm gonna upload this video right now all right so everyone has an uh, have a nice day I plan to okay all right thank you bye bye